We've got a space shuttle. Honestly, this is pretty good as far as my artistic abilities go. Um, so it's rising. We have a camera over here that is 2,000 feet from the launch pad. Our camera. It is following the space shuttle. So it's pointed straight at the space shuttle, and as it lifts off, the camera is is leaning backwards. Okay, well, not really leaning backwards, but it, it's tilting up. Okay. Um, find the rate of change in the angle of elevation ten seconds after the lift off. So we've got a right triangle going on here, but we're not going to use the Pythagorean theorem because they're not asking us about. Well, what's the change in the distance between the space shuttle and the camera or anything like that? They're asking about this angle of elevation down here. So that means that we're going to have to use some trig. We're going to have to set up a relationship here. Uh, and one other thing that we know is that the position of the shuttle is uh, 50 t squared right here. So the height of the shuttle. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> is 50 t squared. Okay, now that 2000 never changes. So that's nice. Okay, so which trig function are we talking about if we have information about these two sides of this triangle? Tangent. Tangent of the angle is equal to this 50 t squared. We don't know um, what that is. It, differs based on the time over 2,000, okay? We're pretty good there with the 2,000 because that doesn't change. Oh, you're good. Um, now, let's look at what we can simplify to begin with before we take the derivative. First of all, uh, you knock off one of those zeros, and uh, 5 over 200 uh, gives us what? Uh, 1 over... 40? Yeah, 40. 200 divided by 5 is 40. Okay? Now, we're going to have to take the derivative. I really don't want to have to deal with that over 40, so I'm going to move that to the other side. I'm going to multiply both sides by 40. And now I'm going to take the derivative with respect to time. So 40, what's the derivative of tangent? Secant squared. Okay, secant squared of theta times, we're doing this in respect to time, so we have to multiply it by d theta over dt. And the derivative of t squared is 2t, and we've got to, oh wait, and that's time. So we don't have to multiply it by dt over dt, because that's 1. Okay, so d theta over dt is what we're looking for. It wants us to find the change in the elevation um, after the rate of change of the elevation 10 seconds after liftoff. So d theta over dt is what we're looking for. Uh, let's look at what else. We have two other variables in the problem. We have theta and we have t. Well, they told us t. That's 10 seconds. So we can plug in 10 there. 2 times 10. Um, now, we don't have theta, but we can find it at that instance. Right, so 10 seconds after liftoff means how high are we in the air? 50 times 10 squared is 50 times 100, so that is, what, 5,000? So theta at this instance, tangent of theta is equal to 5,000 over 2,000 knock off all those zeros, theta is equal to the inverse tangent of 5 over 2. I'm going to 
write that in my problem right there. I'm not going to round it off yet. So we have secant squared of the inverse tangent of 5 over 2 d theta over dt. I'm going to divide by the 40, so that's equal to 1 half. 20 divided by 40. Now we'll pull out the calculator and evaluate what this number is. Okay, let me make sure I am in radian mode. You always want to be in radian mode. Thank you. Uh, so, inverse tangent of 5 over 2. Okay, then we are doing the secant. Well, I don't have a secant button, so I have to do 1 over the cosine of that number. You can type out secant. You can spell that out on your calculator. And it is squared. And then 1 half divided by that is our d theta over dt. So d theta over dt is approximately 0 0.068 radians per second. Remember on the AP exam, you should always be accurate to three digits after the decimal. You can truncate. You can round that to 0 0.069 if that bothers you, but I'd rather just not have to worry about rounding rules. Just write your first three digits and stop. Okay, so it's not changing by a ton, um, but it is changing. But if you think about it, it's probably it's not going to change drastically over this amount of time.